Hey everybody, Quinn here from Tactical and Practical. Hope you're doing well. Just got a box in the mail from Farmingdale, New York. Always excited to get a box. Uh, in particular, this box should have a new watch in it. Um, I've been working on my watch collection. Uh, I do have a diver, I've got my Aqua Racer, got my Omega Planet Ocean. My Hamilton field watch. I needed a field watch. I've got a dress watch, but I did want a watch that um, has the Pepsi bezel. Now, most of you are probably familiar with the pretty iconic Seiko SKX009. Uh, I believe that model is now discontinued. Okay, great. You do get a tool, you get the little screwdriver that you're going to need. Um, and that SKX009, I believe, has been discontinued. Um, the replacement is the Seiko 5, which I, has a couple upgrades, but it also has kind of some downgrades. So I found these guys, Island Watch, out of Long Island, New York. And this is like um, an homage watch that is built to be similar to that iconic Seiko, but with some marked improvements. This is a 38 mil, which makes it sized a little bit uh, better for a guy like me. I've got 6.79 inch wrists. I find 39, 40 mils for me is the sweet spot. And this is the Island Seiko homage. So, Let's take it out and tell you what we think. First of all, you might want to have a little light. And let's get you in there. Got the Pepsi bezel, which I wanted, right? Nice applied loom. It does have applied hour indicators as opposed to painted on. It does also have the screw down crown which is very nice. Um, that was omitted for some reason from kind of the Seiko 5, the reboot, and I'm not quite sure why they did that. So we're going to take this protective coating off. Nice deployment clasp. Polished. On the back, it feels really well made. I think too the Seiko may have hollow links. I believe these are solid. The watch feels robust in the hand, heavy but not overly so. Let's fiddle with this stuff here. And take off your protective coating, and then let me see if I can get you right in here on it to check it out. Right out of the box, I gotta say it's striking. I mean, really a sharp looking watch. There you go. Day and date. Uh, similar, you know, it's a homage watch. It's got the uh, crown is in the four o'clock position, which I am happy to try to kind of get it off my wrist. Um, the Oris Aquis I have is the uh, crown is at the three o'clock position, but it rides a little high on my wrist. I do notice my Aqua Racer. The crown can have a tendency to try to dig in the back of your hand when you're engaged in, um, you know, bending of the wrist or doing those kind of things. So that's what she looks like, and I gotta say, it is just a sharp watch all the way around. Now these guys are from uh, Long Island, and I'm not sure which came first, the chicken or the egg. They are watch dealers, and I think what they did was... Um, after dealing in and selling watches for a long period of time, they wanted to take the best of that Seiko and um, try to kind of preserve it and then improve it where needed, right? Everything's nice and protected coming out of the box. On the back, the case back is engraved and it has the Island Watch Company logo and uh, appears to be a lighthouse. I, I thought they may have the skyline of Long Island, but it appears that it is a lighthouse in the back. And I am going to have to size this to 
get it to fit properly, but it's gonna be it's gonna be an excellent daily wear watch. I mean, I can just tell. Again, 6.79 inch wrists. This is the um, 38 millimeter example. Lug to lug may take it up to 44 ish. So it fits on the wrist, but does not. The lugs do not hang over. Does have nice curved lugs, uh, which is going to make it for a comfortable daily wear. Uh, let me see if I can get this thing sized up, and then um, we'll test out the loom for you, and we'll talk about uh, some of the benefits and features that this watch uh, brings to you. Okay, we'll be right back, so stay tuned. Of course, it's a uh, cloudy day, but look at that. Just took this outside for 30 seconds, maybe, and that's the level of loom that you get on the face of this Islander watch. Bright as could be. You can even see the second hand has a little bit of loom applied as it sweeps around. Just really fabulous. All right, time to come out of the closet. All right, so to give you guys an idea of size, we got a couple things on the table. On the left is my Planet Ocean, comes in at 39 and a half mils. Same measurement on my Oris. And then here you have the Island Watch at 38. Just a tiny bit smaller. The bezel on the Oris just makes it look larger for some reason. And then the Planet Ocean um, doesn't look quite as big, but you notice that the lugs protrude a little bit. The lugs on the Island Watch protrude similarly to the Planet Ocean, but you notice that they are curved so it hugs the wrist, and they aren't quite as pronounced as on the Oris. In terms of thickness, this comes in at 13 mils, and both my Planet Ocean and the Oris are both considerably porkier right? You would expect the Planet Ocean to be porkier with its um, 600 meter uh, water resistance. However, the Oris is real porky and you can almost stick a GMT in there. Uh, I'm not quite sure why it's so fat, but it wears very comfortably. But then you notice how shaped the Island Watch is so that it curves and kind of conforms to your wrist, making it very comfortable and wearable. It's actually even kind of more curvaceous than that Planet Ocean is. Um, I was talking about the Seiko, the Seiko 9, uh, SKX9, and the new 5. Uh, the 5 does not have the screw down crown, however the SKX13 does. This also features, the Island Watch features the screw down crown. A couple of interesting things, it has the Super Loom, so does the Seiko, however the Seiko is simply painted on, and if you look these are actually applied uh, indices on the Island Watch NH35 movement. And you'll also notice if you get real close that see those little marks on the interior of the bezel? That is actually a loomed insert so that you will be able to see where the bezel is located even when it's dark. Lug to lug is the all important measurement when we're thinking about wrist size. This comes in at 44 and a half, and um, my Planet Ocean comes in at 44, so as you can see, very similar, uh, almost identical in terms of lug to lug. And then on the Oris, it's a little bit longer at 46. So if you've got a mid-sized wrist, say six to maybe even seven and a half inches, this 38 millimeter variant is going to do you very well. Um, I'm really just pleased as punch with how this thing looks. And at 13 mils thick, it's not um, nearly as thick as my Planet Ocean or my Oris, making it very comfortable to wear. Really, I think um, the folks over at Island Watch, they knew that people loved that iconic Seiko. They loved that Pepsi dial. And they tried to look at the things that could use a little bit of improvement. And they did so. And they came out with this. Really a great looking watch. Um, so far, so good. I'm going to set it up against um, 
NST clock and um, see what kind of time she's keeping overnight and we'll report back to you but early indications are this is a winner if you're looking for a small brand or a micro brand watch if you like the Seiko but you want something a little different that has some improvements particularly the anti-reflective coating on the uh, sapphire as opposed to that hard lex which is a uh, synthetic product an acrylic product that is manufactured by seiko um, i think you really need to look at this thing and evaluate it it's just a sharp looking watch feels substantial but not overly heavy on the wrist and it's super comfortable to wear deployment is obviously simple and easy and we'll pop this on once more so you can check it out Every bit as comfortable as the other watches in my collection. I could wear this thing every day comfortably. Island Watch. Check them out. Great products, great people, great service right here in the United States of America out in Long Island. They really nailed it with this one. Thanks. If you like this video and it helped you make a decision, you're thinking about a diver, uh, go anywhere, do anything, watch, and um, you said, hey, you know, who's this Island Watch company? Thanks to Tactical and Practical for telling me about them. Then uh, take a second, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll keep this content coming. You guys take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.